praise praise to the lord okay let's just continue and just wanna um continues with a message and today i just want to share a message and the message is that i want to share multitudes <laughs> he did not share with the multitudes he did not invest it in multitudes and today I have come to share a good news of Jesus Christ. I'm um, Susanna, Prophet Susanna Cran, and today is the uh, um, 28th of March 2021. So today I want to share a message I was just studying and uh, the message just came to me and it was to share and it is a message that um, where are you investing your time so i just want to begin where do you invest your time so investing your time i want to share here that jesus did not invested his time with the multitude he invested his time with the disciples today i want to share the number is not uh, uh, the um Number is, uh, it's not about number, it's about the quality. Quality. So today I want to share the quality. That are you spending, investing your time, your quality time in the quality and bringing out the best. So what I'm here today to share that are you investing your time with the multitude or you're investing your time with the uh, the 12. So today I want to share and I have something to share and I'm going to begin from here the um, multitudes. So here from Matthew chapter uh, five and it says and seeing the multitude he went up on a mountain and when he was seated his disciple came to him then he opened his mouth and taught them saying so very first thing that I want to share that when Jesus saw the multitude he went up on the mountain and when he went up on the mountain he saw the multitude he saw the multitude but when he went up to the mountain, he only saw disciples, 12 disciples. But the multitudes, multitudes disappeared. So there was no multitudes. So multitude did not go up with him to the mountain, but it was the quality, it was the um the disciples it was the chosen one it was the one he called by name so these twelve, he called them by name he called them out of the profession he called them out of the business to walk with him he said follow me he did not say to the multitude follow me multitude followed him but he called the um 12 disciples to follow him and multitudes followed him so here we see the quality here we see it's not about the multitudes here we see it is where you investing it your time where you investing your talent where you investing your gift so he saw it multitudes big number he saw but when he was moving up, when he went upward, it was only 12 disciples. Where are the multitudes gone? They were disappeared. They did not went up with him because when up, going up, it was to, to going up, it is the revelation of the kingdom of God. It wasn't for the multitude. It was the disciples. They were in the kingdom of God. Multitudes were outside. They were not inside. So when Jesus asked, not Jesus, <coughs> excuse me, when uh, the, um, the disciple asked, why do you speak in parable? What did he say? That 
the mystery of the kingdom of God is not for them, it's for you, excuse me. What did Jesus said? He said, the mystery of the kingdom of God is not for the multitudes to be revealed because it was for you because you are in the kingdom of God. The disciples were in the kingdom of God. He called them. This is why we see chosen one. He called them by name and he said, come, follow me. Are you called by name? Did he call you or are you from one of the multitudes or you are from one of the twelve? And if you are, what are you doing? Where are you investing your time? Where are you investing? Jesus did not give it to the multitudes. When he broke the bread, he did not give it to the multitudes. Directly, he gave it to the disciples. So he gave it to the disciples. But we are talking here that multitude showed up so many in quantity, in numbers. But when Jesus went up to the kingdom and talked about the kingdom, explained them in details, it was only 12 disciples. There was no multitudes. So he saw multitude, he saw big number, he saw, but it was not in the kingdom of God. So multitude is not in the kingdom of God. The disciples were in the kingdom of God. So it's you have to ask yourself, are you the multitude? Are you the disciples? So here we see that when he called the disciples, he called them by name. He called them out of the business, out of the profession, out of the family. He called them because they left everything and walked with him. So the kingdom of God, they paid the price. They, they received it all back with more than hundredfolds. But first, they have to leave everything behind and follow Jesus for the kingdom of God. Multitudes were not the one who was in the kingdom, they were outside. They were following Jesus for their own desires. But the disciples were following Jesus for his desire, for his will. So they are two different things. Investing in the right place. And then when you're investing your time in the right place, investing in yourself, First of all, you have to build up yourself. You have to invest in yourself. And then you have to make sure because the crowd, it was not benefit, beneficial. Jesus did not follow, did not call them to follow. Jesus called the disciples to follow. Multitude followed him, which is fine. But they did not follow. They, when he went up, the, dis the multitude disappeared. It was only, he found only 12 disciples. Here we see that the disciple is to uh, follow him and it is to follow. First of all, multitudes, they, they were not inside. Disciples were inside. When Jesus was resurrected, and the very first thing, what he said to them, he gave them the Holy Communion. He was with the disciple. It was the disciple with him that were having the Holy Communion. It wasn't the multitude. The table, it was the 12 disciple around him. To the disciple, he taught them and told them that in remembrance of me, you have to do this. And then... He said it, now I am not going to take this Holy Communion. That was the last he had. And he said he will have when the kingdom of God will come, when I am in my father's kingdom. So when he came and he had um, two disciples, um, appeared to, he appeared to two disciples who were talking, you know, engaged with each other and talking about, you know, um, what happened with Jesus. 
and then Jesus already rose up. I will share with you that is in Luke and we're going to see uh, where it is written. So when Jesus appeared to 12, uh, to two, he uh, gave them, shared with them, had with them Holy Communion and that's, that approved to, to them and they remember that Jesus said that. So that approved that Jesus is already now in the kingdom of God. So now the disciple who's having Holy Communion with him also were in the kingdom of God. So here I will read it from uh, Luke chapter uh, 24. And now it said here that now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread, blessed and broke it and gave it to them. Then the eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished from their sight. This is after resurrection. So I'm not reading all of it. After resurrection, this is two disciples. He met them and then he, um, what he said it, he, uh, his word came to pass. He had the Holy Communion because Jesus is in the kingdom of God. He risen. He, he rose up. So um, when he rose up, he is resurrected. He uh, had Holy Communion with the disciple. So it was the disciples who were in the kingdom of God. It was the disciples to whom he came and uh, reminded the word. It was in the multitude. So we see here that Jesus did not uh, talk about the kingdom of God to the multitude. He explained and shared with the 12 disciples. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven. So when you are poor in the spirit, he said, blessed are the poor in spirit for there is kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and uh, thirst for righteousness, righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, uh, merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall seek God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the righteousness sake, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Jesus is explaining here all these things when anyone who fails is because of what he had mentioned that when you're persecuted, it's because of the righteousness sake, because there is a kingdom of heaven. So when you are persecuted, it is that there is a kingdom of heaven. So it means do not, you know, uh, be upset, but be but rather rejoice because it's the kingdom of God. And that's why he said, because of the word in you, because of the kingdom of God is within you, within us. And he said, this is how he explained. He did not explain to the multitude. They cannot bear it because they don't, they're not going to understand. So the understanding came to the disciples. And that's why he said to the disciples, that um, this is how the kingdom of God works. So it is for the disciple to know, not the multitude. So multitude would not understand. But the disciples to whom he was teaching, the disciples who were following him, the disciples who were, you know, hungry for it, and the disciples whom he called, by name, from, from profession, from out of all he called them to follow Jesus. Are you following Jesus? Are you among the multitudes or you are from among the 12 disciples? Then he was uh, teaching and saying that the word of God, when you understand it will benefit to you. It will be beneficial. It will work. But if you hate the word and you do not understand, then the enemy comes 
and he steal it. We don't want, you don't want, and me to steal, you want to understand. So that's why he's saying that if you understand, because he wants disciples to understand, and when disciples are um, asking him, why then you telling us, telling us in details, you are explaining to us because that is for the for the disciples who understand he will give more. So here in uh, Mark, not Luke, Mark 4, and he said um, in, in 13, he said, the parable of the sower explained, and he said to them, do you not understand this parable? So then he saying now, he is now questioning to his disciples, do you not understand the parable? Because um, he said in uh, he said in Mark 10, 4 and 10, he said, but he was alone. But, he, but when he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parable and he said to them to you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God so the mystery of the kingdom of God was revealed it to them when he was he went up to the mountain and the disciples he found they followed him and the multitude disappeared because the kingdom of God is parable to them but he won't explain and then he explained from all the way from verse 3, Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 and all the way 10 that persecution is because there is a kingdom of God within us, within you. And then he said, because of these things, it's because of kingdom of God, because you're separated from the world and now the world's going to do this to you, persecute you. And it's because you have a kingdom of God. And that's what he was explaining them. Multitude would not understand. So it was not for multitude to be persecuted. They're not going to. It's like the, the man who um, said, what can I do? I'm, I'm doing all the things that you, you know, the, the kid that, that you are teaching requires for the kingdom of God. What else I can do? Jesus said, give all your wealth to the poor and you will enter into the kingdom of God. He said, give all your wealth. There's one thing that you are um, sure of, he say, give all your wealth to them. And he was like discouraged and he just left Jesus. And Jesus said, it's very hard for the wealthy man to enter into the kingdom of God. So that's why for multitude would not understand because it's not for them. Today what God is speaking to his people and he's talking about are you the one of the crowd or are you the one of the disciples? And kingdom of God is not disciples paid the price first. They left all, everything. They received after because Peter asked, oh, we have left all and, uh, you know, uh, what we going to have? He said, you're going to have everything in this uh, life. You will have all, everything back with the hundredfolds and the eternal life. So today what God is saying is, are you facing any persecution? Are you facing, if you are, that means you are in the kingdom of God. That's why, because there's kingdom of God within you. So today I'm here to encourage you, to, uh, to encourage you that it is for the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God, Jesus already explained to the 12 disciples that it's because of the word in you, because of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is within us. And that is the whole point. And that is uh, the, uh, it's, 
it proves that um, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God if you are multitude. You will only enter if he has called you by name. You will only enter if he told you to follow me. You will only enter if you are following him. You will only enter if you are not a multitude. You will only follow him. You will only be in the kingdom of God if you are the disciples. If you are the one who is called. If you are the one who is following him. If you are the one who is so. Uh, a disciples. This is the good news I have come to share with you and I'm very sure that you're encouraged. I am Prof. Susanna Kurana and today is, as I said, 28th of uh, March 2021.